What's good? It's your boy, BMFR, Big Rush. You may not have heard of me, but you definitely heard of my work. Uh, first of all, excuse the uh, stuffy nose. That's how I roll. Deal with it. So check it out. What I'm going to do uh, really quick is uh, show you two shortcuts. One will be uh, quickly get uh, a sample into uh, Reason 6, 6.5, or Record. Uh, it's worth mentioning right now if you have Reason 5 or anything below that, that this is probably not going to help you because you have to have uh, the recording capabilities that uh, Reason Record has and other subsequent versions. Anyway, uh, so look, what I want to do is uh, first is get a audio track or get a uh, sample and match it to the tempo which is 88 BPM so obviously the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna need a couple of tracks and I got a couple of samples that were already truncated uh, in uh, reason by the way uh, I do all of my editing now in reason uh, I don't have it I sold my MP <clears throat> I still have my 1200 but uh, I do all of my sampling and chopping all of my samples right here on the screen from here I can get them to the calm or any other sampler uh, if I choose to use Rex files which I rarely use anymore uh, but if I chose to uh, just exporting a wave out and chopping it and recycle is a piece of cake okay so look this is what we're gonna do we're gonna get a uh, our first sample our first uh, loop uh, I got a couple of random things that I chopped up earlier so uh, I want to start with this guy right here real cool loop so we're gonna do that notice the first thing is that the loop is longer than the selected region so what I want to do is play what that sounds like with the click all right now the first thing you're going to want to do <coughs> excuse me is disable the stretch feature now once you have that disabled the sample will remain exactly in the form that it is right now so the quick easy way to do this so I'm not gonna have to tap tempo I'm not gonna have to go find anything to match the tempo or find the tempo with beat detective or any other uh, software the simplest way to do this is just to take the tempo slider uh, you can use a plus or minus on your keypad or your keyboard uh, and just start moving the numbers once you move the numbers you'll start to see the wave will start to shrink into its position so listen so now that we have our sample matched well we have the tempo matched to our sample what I'm gonna do now is very crucial I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna bounce that to a new recording what that does is it replaces the original piece of music that you put in and replaces it with a brand new recording or a brand new copy of that recording time stamped with this tempo information okay now once I do that I can turn the stretch back on okay now I can switch this back to 88 BPM and we're back together. What I'm going to do now is uh, bring in another drum loop. Uh, as you can see, our tempo is 88 BPM. And uh, I'm just going to grab another drum loop that I already, sam uh, already sampled and truncated. 
uh, this guy right here. All right. So as you can see, it doesn't match our original tempo. Quick and easy way to make it match the tempo. Hold down the control if you're on a PC. Uh, you're going to hold down the option if you're on a uh, Mac. And that's going to give you an uh, icon here for time stretch. Obviously, stretch has to be enabled. See a little icon pop up there. One click, and you're all good. Now, another cool little feature is now if you ever wanted to take these drums and use them as drum samples, let's go ahead and give them a quick click. You see, I'm going to every beat hit point. Now, I grab them all at the same time. Say so bounce clips to new samples. Now I have 12 brand new samples. So, what I'm going to do now is bring in a couple of samples into the car. Uh, I like that guy. Piece of cake. It's BMFR. Take it easy. Peace.